Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this week's English Qutbah and the topic is Love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, all praises are due to Allah, the one who has graced us through giving us faith in him, the one who has favored us through sending to us the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the best of creation and the final messenger. I testify that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, the one who has no partners. And I testify that our Sayyid Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the slave of Allah and his messenger. Amma ba'd, to continue. I advise you, O slaves of Allah and myself with the taqwa of Allah. For verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that whomsoever obeys Allah and his messenger and has taqwa of Allah and is conscious of him, فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْفَائِزُونَ They are those who shall be the ones who attain unto success. أَيُّهَا mu'minun, O believers. A man once came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, O Messenger of Allah, indeed you are more beloved to me than myself. You are more beloved to me than my own family and more beloved to me than my own child. When I am at home, I remember you and cannot be patient until I visit you, for it is then that I can see you. But when I think of your death, I know that if you enter paradise, you'll be raised unto the company of the prophets. And as for me, if I enter paradise, I fear that I will not be able to see you. The Prophet ﷺ did not immediately respond to this man until the angel Jibreel السلام, descended upon the Prophet وسلم, with this verse. وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالصِّدِّيقِينَ And whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger, those will be the ones upon whom Allah has bestowed the favor of the Prophets and the steadfast affirmers, affirmers of truth. So we can see, brothers and sisters, that the Prophet ﷺ, through the blessings and the, this revelation, was affirming that people will be with those whom they love. And this man, despite thinking that even if I get to Jannah, his main concern would be, or was, will I be able to be in the company of the Prophet? Will I still be able to be able to look upon his blessed countenance? And such was the way of the Prophet ﷺ. For his presence would invoke a love in those who truly could see who he was. For he was a Prophet sent to all of humanity and a mercy sent to all of mankind. Wherein the more one remembered him, the more their love would increase for him. And thus it is that we find that on the occasion of his uh, milad, on the occasion of his blessed birth, we find that those whose hearts are connected to him find their hearts becoming overflowing and full of love. And they can't help but have their tongues give expression to some of this love and proclaiming this love that they have for him. For ultimately this path and this connection to the Prophet wasallam is not some dry, austere thing. It is a connection built on love. Because the Prophet wasallam himself is the beloved to Allah. And he is the intimate companion to Allah. And that's why the Prophet wasallam said, Inna Allah ta'ala qad ittakhadani khalila. Indeed, Allah has taken me as his intimate companion, as he took Ibrahim السلام, as his intimate companion. And so brothers and sisters, we should recognize that love of the Prophet وسلم, is just a faithful expression of what our religion and faith or iman or certainty in this religion demands of us. For the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده وولده والناس أجمعين None of you truly believes 
till I'm more beloved to him than his father, his child, and all of mankind. And so the perfection, the reality of our iman, is determined by the degree of our love of the Prophet wasallam. Indeed, we have to take ourselves to task on this and then look deep in our hearts and examine our love of the Prophet wasallam. For how can we not love him when we, what we owe him is greater than what we can owe anyone else? For if we really reflect, ultimately, his concern for us preceded our concern for him. For all of the prophets were given one supplication or a supplication that was mustajab, that was guaranteed to be answered. And the Prophet wasallam, unlike the other prophets, stored this particular supplication for the day of judgment wherein he hoped to make supplication for the intercession of those who believe from his ummah. That's why the Prophet ﷺ said, لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍّ دَعْوَةٌ مُسْتَجَابَةٌ He said, there is for every Prophet a supplication which is guaranteed to be answered. فَتَعَجَّلَ كُلُّ نَبِيٍّ دَعْوَتَهُ But every single Prophet put forward their supplication during the worldly life. وَإِنِّي أَخْتَبَعْتُ دَعْوَتِي شَفَاعَةً لِأُمَّتِي يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ But rather, I have reserved my supplication for the intercession of my ummah on the day of judgment. So, brothers and sisters, how will it be on that day when every single person is saying, Nafsi, 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 myself, Myself, myself. And the Prophet وسلم, on that day will be saying, Ummati, Ummati, my, my nation, my nation, my nation. How can we not love him? And how can we not love him when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself loves him and has drawn in that regards to that love our attention to the perfect, holistic, complete character and noble attributes that the Prophet ﷺ possessed. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلْقٍ عَظِيمٍ And indeed you are on a great moral character. And brothers and sisters, the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is highlighting that is also a pointer to us that the Prophet ﷺ's character is that which determines his closeness and his great esteem through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we too, if we want to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we need to seek to imbibe the aspects and the beauty and the example of his blessed prophetic character. For he, alayhi salatu was salam, was the most tolerant and large-hearted and expansive of people. He was the most generous of men. He was of those who connected the people when there was separation. He was of those who forgave those when he was wronged. He was the one who honored the elders and he was gentle to the young. And from the display of our sincerity of love of him is that we should seek to follow him and emulate his character and to act in accordance with the guidance that he brought. If we were of those who love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should follow him through ittiba' and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love us. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرُ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا there is certainly come for you in the Messenger of Allah an excellent pattern for whomsoever places their hope in Allah and the last day and who remembers Allah much. O believers, the Prophet ﷺ bore testimony to, that, to the fact that, uh, that many of the people who would come after him would be amongst those who are closest to him. 
And this closeness would be premised on the degree of their love and their intense desire to be in his company and to see him. So the Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said, he said, مِنْ أَشَدِّ أُمَّتِي لِي حُبًّا He said, from the people of his ummah who are most beloved to him. نَاسٌ يَكُونُ بَعْدِي يَوَدُّ أَحَدُهُمْ لَوْ رَآنِي بِأَهْلِهِ وَمَالِهِ That they will be people who come after that, who they would be of those who would have the keenest desire to see him, to see the Prophet ﷺ, even if it be at the expense of their own family and wealth. Brothers and sisters, the Prophet ﷺ promised that whomsoever is true in their love of him, then they will attain unto that company of the Prophet ﷺ in paradise. For he said, Al Maru Ma'aman Ahab that a person is with whomsoever they love. So let us take this occasion to increase our love of the Prophet ﷺ. As we've said, this love is premised on ittiba' following the Prophet ﷺ and embodying these characteristics of the Prophet ﷺ in our own lives. And one of the ways to bring this love into our own hearts is to increase our salawat upon the Prophet ﷺ, to send much salawat upon the Prophet ﷺ. For it is narrated by Ubay ibn Ka'ab, may Allah be pleased with him, in which he said, O Messenger of Allah, I send much salawat upon you. So how much salawat should I send upon you? And the Prophet ﷺ responded by saying, Ma'ashit, as much as you want. And so I said, or Ubay then said after that, he said, uh, should it be a fourth? And the Prophet ﷺ then went on to say, Ma'ashit, fa'in zidda fahuwa khayrun lak. If you wish, it can be a fourth. But if you did more, then it would be better or good for you. And this process continued with Ubay constantly adding, should I do this more than, he kept adding, adding a, a, a portion and the Prophet ﷺ affirmed him, but he said, if you did more, it would be better or good for you, until it reached a point when Obey literally said, should I spend all of my time, i.e. all of this time that I have, that I can engage in salah, that I engage in worship and in uh, supplication and so on, should I send it, spend all of that time sending salawat upon you? And upon hearing this, the Prophet ﷺ responded by saying, He said, in that case, you would find that your problems will be solved and your sins will be forgiven. And it's for this reason that the scholars say that one of the surest ways of ensuring our problems get solved and one of the best ways we can orientate our, our lives and our hearts towards guidance, especially in times of darkness and difficulties, is by busying and occupying our lives and our days and a portion of our nights if possible with salawat upon the Prophet ﷺ. So let me take this and let me put this forward and remind myself and remind the listeners that this would be an amazing thing that we could inculcate in our lives and to take as a practice from this day onwards and to take, keep and adhere to it until the rest of our days. I say this and I seek forgiveness for myself and for you. So seek his forgiveness. Indeed, he is the most forgiving and the most merciful. And with that comes to an end this week's khutbah. Assalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This khutbah was brought to you by Ida Atil Quran Abu Dhabi.